All right, just going to do a video refuting this very cultic Roman Catholic false doctrine that of the apostolic succession of these popes claiming that we're the, we're the successors of St. Peter and everything else. Uh, never mind the fact that Peter was never a pope to begin with. I did a video showing that Peter would have been the worst pope in history if he was you know, a Catholic pope, which he, of course he wasn't. Uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 18 is referring to Jesus Christ being the rock. Okay, Jesus Christ is the foundation and chief cornerstone. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20 down to verse 22 talks about that. So, you know, uh, the, the Christian faith is not built upon men. It's built upon God. It's that simple. But Roman Catholicism is a totally man-centered, man-glorifying false religion. So what do I expect? But here are some scriptures that just totally destroy this false doctrine of apostolic succession. Okay, first of all, apostolic, apostolic succession, a bit of a tongue twister almost, is refuted by the simple fact that Paul actually rebuked the Corinthians for saying that they were, quote, of Paul or of Peter, or in this case, of Cephas, which is one of the names of Peter. That's exactly what the Catholic Church says, over oh, of we're of Peter. Well, let's see Paul rebuking that. First Corinthians chapter three, verse one to seven. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now ye are able. Now are ye able, sorry, not good at reading on a computer. Uh, for ye are yet carnal, uh, for whereas there was among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye, are ye not carnal, and walk as men? For one saith, for while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom uh, ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man? I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither so then so that neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God but God that giveth the increase. Okay, not again, not good at reading things on a computer, but you see there. It's God who's the foundation. God's given the increase. We're not of Paul or of Apollos. No, we're of God. Now they preach the gospel, that's simple, but you see, if your minister is the one who led you to the Lord, you're not of your minister, you're of Jesus Christ. Okay? They plant the water, they plant the seed, plant the water, but God is the one who uh, gave the increase. See, Paul's exalting God here. Roman Catholicism undermines the supremacy and authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. First uh, Corinthians chapter one, verse ten to thirteen. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. And that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by by them that sorry by, by them which are of the house of Clo, that there are contentions among you. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I am of Apollos, and I have Cephas, and I have Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you, or were you baptized in the name of Paul? It's that simple. They're carnal. When you're saying I'm of Peter, or I'm of this, or I'm of you know this guy, you're being carnal. You see, you're building your foundation off a man off of a man. That's a faulty foundation. The Apostle Paul also clearly said that the saint is not of men like Paul or Cephas, but they're rather they are of Christ. Okay, Paul says also not the glory in men either. He says not the glory in men, but glory in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it's Jesus Christ who's giving you your salvation. See, your, again, your foundation is Jesus Christ, not any man. First Corinthians chapter three, verses twenty-one to twenty-three. Therefore, let no man no, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. Whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours. And ye are Christ, and Christ is God's. He doesn't say ye are Peter's or ye are Apollos. No, ye are Christ's. Okay, that's that's a simple fact of the matter. Jesus Christ is the shepherd and bishop of your soul. First Peter chapter two verse twenty five. The Catholic Church does exactly what Paul rebuked in these passages. They say Peter is the rock, and they'll say they are of Peter of Cephas. Paul links this with carnality, and he's rebuking this. Jesus Christ, like I said, Jesus Christ is the foundation and rock of the church. First Corinthians three eleven, first Corinthians ten four, and Ephesians chapter two verse twenty to twenty two. Okay, it's not Peter. In fact, in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 4 to 8, Peter himself says that Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone. Apostolic succession is not scriptural and actually undermines the supremacy and preeminence of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's that simple. That's what Roman Catholicism is. It's a cult when you get down to the fact of the matter. The Pope is a modern-day diatrophies, like 3 John chapter 1, verse 9 to 10 describes. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.